Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Finance Committee meeting of the City of Hudson for Monday, April 7th. I'd like to call the meeting to order. First item on the agenda is the minutes and possible action on the minutes. Is there any changes or addition from the March 24th? No, I'll move to approve the meeting minutes. Is there a second? I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, discussion, possible action on claims for April 7th in the amount of 515842 I do have quick, two quick questions that I've brought to Neil's attention. Um, they're under Neil is T-Mobile reallocation of phone numbers for $4,800 and multiple cases for an additional $1,500. And you were saying that this was part of a technology upgrade from our IT guy. Correct. And I guess who authorized it? I mean, mind you, I'm good. I'm fine with trying to save money on air, on the phones and the air cards. But where are these expenses coming from? They'll be coming from the, the regular budgets. Okay. It was, made, it was made one payment, and the bills came in, and Mike has to allocate it all. So we just made the payment, and then, Mike, it'll go to everybody's budget just like... Okay, so as a department head, this is his attempt to rein in our phone bills? Well, well, also, they're all under one. I think almost all under one. Correct, Neil? No? Correct. I exception think of EMS, I think. Everything's going to T-Mobile. So the the one main bill that was charged to it, it's like a 999 account, the $4,000 bill, mm -hmm. that's awaiting to be allocated to the other departments. Yep. Uh, the other question you had with regard to the cases, uh, you know, Mike can best address that and whether that's going to be charged off to the various departments right. or not. Yes, that is being charged based on who got the cases. So all of the police department got the, the tough cases. So that's what, and those tough cases are about $100 a piece. Okay. But those will go to the department. And the, the cost per month will be going down substantially. So this is an internal kind of an initial thing, yes. for, yep. which is a great start. Yep. Thank you. So we have them all under one bill now. And I think we have, I believe we have shared minutes with everybody. So it Any isn't idea a, what the cost savings is going to be? I can find out. Get back to me. I'll move for approval. Yeah, I'll find out. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Discussion? Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Next item is discussion, possible action on uh, operator's license. I think everyone has it. Uh, we have uh, approval of three regular operator licenses for the period of April 8th, 2014 to June 30th, 2015. Elliot Motu, Carrie Wick, and Alexander Swanson. Alexandria Swanson. Move for approval. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And then we also have a, uh, approval and issuance of six regular operator licenses for the period of July 1st, uh, 2014 to June 30th, 2016 to Sarah Brush, Dana Okerlund, Kevin Nelson, James Worley, Michael Erkstead, and Brandon Clark. Is there a motion to approve that? To approve. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And then finally, the approval and issuance of a temporary R uh, license for July 3rd to the 5th to John Hen Henrik. Henrik, excuse me. Move for approval. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Okay. You want to note the contingency on all those? Contingent on paying outstanding debt, debt owed to the, the city. city. I so believe, Nancy, is there any outstanding debt on any of those people? Not that I know. Okay. Okay, discussion possible action on budget transfer for contingency short term capital to clerk treasurer for purchase or replacement of a computer for receptionist. Um, the receptionist computer, we needed to replace it. Um, there was money budgeted in the short term capital under contingency. I think it was 15,000, 20, what was it, Neil, 15 or 25? 15. 15,000. So this is just the budget transfer that we're doing now. So Did the computer on. die? The computer died. Move for approval. Is there a second? Second. And we had budgeted 2,000. Correct. In the budget, assuming there would be some computer. Okay. Any, other, any discussion? Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Discussion, possible action, issues of a temporary Class B license to the Hudson Boosters for uh, booster days for the 3rd, 4th, 5th of July. I'll move for approval. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 
Item seven, discussion possible action on a lease with the Hudson Boosters for storage at 6th Street, 6th six, six, six St. Croix Street. The booster lease, I think this is uh, Tom. Yes. Any, no, not the other Tom. <laughs> <laughs> but, but no. <laughs> Tom, do you have any, anything to add to the lease? I think this lease has been in place since, I don't know, 2007? Several years, yes. Um, it's a building that we purchased uh, several years ago and uh, from one of the local oil companies. And there's uh, one, one building is actually the, where the rowboat, or the, not the rowboats. Rowboat. The rowing club. club. Rowing club. <laughs> and then the other one has been leased by the, the boosters. It's a storage facility, right? So. Any questions, discussion, comments? Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Yeah, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. You're welcome. That was easy, huh? Discussion possible action on bids received for the 2014 street uh, maintenance seal coating. Tom, you can come back up. So basically we have the following streets. We have St. Croix Street, uh, 2nd Street to 11th, Vine Street, uh, Wisconsin to Carmichael Road, 7th Street, uh, Wisconsin to the bridge deck north of River Street, Hunter Hill, Wisconsin to Grandview Drive. Yes, sir, and these were uh, streets that we did some crack filling on last year, and if we get into the right rotation, we'll try to do this uh, crack filling uh, the year before, and then the next year we'll go back and do the seal coating is what we've been trying to do. We received two bids, uh, one from Farner Asphalt and the other one from Scott Construction. Farner was a uh, low bid. Significantly lower. And, you know, I've been asked about that, and actually I did talk to the Farner about uh, why he left so much money on the table, and he said, well... Uh, part of it is that the logistics with the oil and the material is closer for farmer up in this part of the state, where Scott is uh, central is more located down by Wisconsin Dells, and just to get the oil and material up here is probably the cost in uh, transportation. Can you explain the uh, difference for everyone here about the alternative bid, the seventeen thousand seven hundred nine? What does that in entail? <coughs> when you have the base bid of 150 and then you have an alternate one of 17, what is that? What does the 17 include again? That's, uh, um, we bid that out. Uh, that's actually a seal code or a maintenance project for the walk path um, along Crestview Drive from uh, Hagen Street to Carmichael Road. Uh, we thought that we'd uh, bid it out with this uh, project because. Uh, the contractors doing this type of work would, would be able to do it with their equipment. It's already here. The equipment's all set up. Generally, yes. So we bid it with that. It probably be funding could be taken from the sidewalk program for, uh, for 2014. What's your recommendation on that, Tom? I'm sorry? What's your recommendation? Uh, I think that we recommend that we go with uh, the base bid and do it with for seal coating from Farner and... I think that uh, the walk paths do need some work and we should really consider do doing uh, the alternate also with the money coming from the sidewalk program for 2014. Comments. And we do have some money left from 2013, but uh, we still have some work left to be done from that. If I'd On hate, sidewalk? Yeah. Okay. So if there's any funds left from that, then we could, you know, that'll be transferred over probably to, to this fund. How much do we have in the sidewalk? Do you know, Neil? We're carrying over $6,300 from 2013, and this year we appropriated 51000 Okay. You're going to be able to handle all your sidewalk needs with the... Uh, well, we prioritize. 11, 11, we pr prioritize, and then, you know... Uh, so you're basically going to have 40000 for your sidewalks this year. Plus, this, you know, yep. if we don't need the right. 6000 that would I'd hope that could yep. be transferred yep. into I the... I think that makes sense, but then there's another 11000 that has to come out. I think our past couple, past two years, we've had a twenty-five thousand dollars sidewalk budget. So still, even after this, okay. we still have a better program than we've had in the past couple of years. Okay. Do, do, do we have experience with Farner Town? Yes, and that's. What, <laughs> I'm sorry, but 
I have a problem with this. Oh, I mean, appreciate their bid. Three years ago, they did a really poor job up on Laurel between um, 17th and close to the church. They, um, they agreed that they were gonna fix it. It's been three years. I was just thinking back to how long it's been three years. They told us last fall that they will do it this spring. It is this, I mean, us agreeing to this bid has got to be contingent upon them following through. It's been three Absolutely. years. Absolutely. And I told, I told them when we met, I would never, I wouldn't vote for another one of their projects until they finish that, and I have to stick to that. Wasn't it a company that they had purchased or that bought? It isn't, for, uh, oh, it was. It used to be Bergman. Yeah, it was it Bergman was. that we did the project. These folks bought Bergman, didn't they? I thought said. it was Farner at the time. Okay. But they had just purchased Bergman, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In any case, I, and I don't know what we can, how we can make it contingent upon that, but it, it has to be. And maybe we put a deadline on it. Yep. I don't want to mess this bit up, but that's work that they promised us they would do at their cost. So can you make the... Sure. Well, sure. The bid's good for 60 days. Correct. And say that we have to have that, and you know they can't do the seal coating until the you know the weather does warm. The frost has to be out of the ground, and temperatures have to be such where they can do the seal coating. But um, but there's was, a, there's a uh, project, as Lori said, that they needed to finish. Could you make, I mean, you could postpone action on it and until they get we that talk project with them and get some firm just so they know it's an agreement. Yeah, they need to yeah to commit to a date or right well um i don't want it to hold this up and i don't want it to jeopardize the bid what do you think tom are they gonna are gonna are they going to uh they yeah they said they're going to but they had said before that they were going to do it so well let's just make it contingent upon karen you have something you got to add yeah, I, I don't think you'd be holding anything up by not awarding it tonight the contract says that they can start june and so if we, we can hold it for two weeks, and as Catherine said, it does have 60 days. Mm -hmm. So I don't think yeah, there's I think not a problem not awarding then. it tonight. Okay, so can we just talk to them between now and then and get some sort of commitment? Very good. And yes. then bring it back to the next uh, Like if we could get a contract. To, to yeah, get a up. written contract yeah. with a deadline. Yep. We need something other than the A problem. letter saying yep. we're going to do it. And what the scope of that project is probably from Laurel to uh, starting at 13th? It's close to Hoyt. No, yep. it's not even to 13th. Okay. Do you remember where it was, Tom? It's from uh, 17th starting uh, at that point going west, a little past, uh, not quite to the uh, Methodist Church. My okay. only concern is this project was done three years ago. Right. We, you know what, we talked to them the year after it was, we talked to them the year it was right done, away. we talked right to them away. the year after it was done, two years <clears> after <throat> it was done, yeah, we're gonna wait for this, we're gonna wait and see how this, okay. and they didn't do it. So we've been in contact with them, Tom, I know you have records of, so no, this has been an ongoing discussion and they kept saying we're gonna see how it turns out once it, everything settles in, and it's a mess. And they know they screwed it up, and it's okay, but they it just needs need to, to be fix redone. it. Mm -hmm. Well, what happened was that when they put the first layer of oil down, they put a, a coal slag on top. And yep. that's not what we had spec'd out. We wanted a quarter inch trap rock. So they came, what they did was put another layer of oil on and then trap rock. So <clears throat> basically it was twice the amount of oil which um, it was a little soft, I think, at first, and it's, it, it is some raveling. When it got hot that summer, the it road bled melted. through. Yep. I don't want you to try Chains to defend them, up. Tom, unless you're just explaining it to us. But I'm okay if they pull their bid, too, because I don't simply want to work with them. After three years, you know, poo poo us for not trying to hold them accountable. Yep. No, and no, I know we have. We discussed it time and time again, but they got away with it. No, I don't want to, I don't, Brandy, I really don't want to jeopardize this because of what happened. I want them to just rectify it. Yep. And they're, they're willing to do it. Well, sure, but if they, will, if they end up pulling the bid, so be it. Right. 
Well, the bid is good for 60 days. Right. That was a condition right. of submitting But they can bid. pull it. Uh, um, well, then they lose their bid bond. Okay. I don't think they're going to pull their bid. No. No. I just, just so you know, they, I mean, they're in position to get it, but mm -hmm. we want that addressed. So we want to contract. I'll contact them tomorrow to say that before we, the council approves uh, the seal coat bid, awards this bid, that we want a, a contra written contract that this seal coating from three years ago will be rectified and corrected. With a deadline. Yep. With a deadline. Yep. yep. That's it. Okay. Let me ask you, Tom, could you do that seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars $18,000, could you do some other road, or is the trail that bad? They're starting to go downhill fast, and... Like I said, with the money coming from the sidewalk program, I think our regular concrete sidewalks are getting in pretty good shape and we should start looking at uh, some of these walk paths around town. Someone trips on those, I mean, we still have the same liability if someone trips on an asphalt trail. And if you walk some of those um, walk paths, they're starting to get some big cracks in them and people, you know, they bicycle, they inline skate is where, you know, what. I'm pretty concerned about. I guess my, my question is, is it feasible for $18,000 to do a block of street? Of a street that may really need it. A sidewalk? A street. street. Well, this, this for money- For the alternate th one bid cost of 18000 could you do a street out there that may need it? Sure, if you want to transfer money from the sidewalk program to the- I'm saying instead of doing that, do, right. do but one this is the money's street. coming from the sidewalk program. Uh, this bid was not, was it? Yes. The seventeen thousand is is from the sidewalk. Strictly from the sidewalk. Correct. That's where I was going to get the funds from. That's where you if fund you want to tra transfer money from the sidewalk program to the street program, that's that's also doable. I guess. Did you answer the question? Yes, you could, could do $17,000. You could do some work with, you know, a lot of, quite a bit of work on street projects. But you, you really think that Crestview pathway needs to be done before it gets too You've been bad. saying that, I mean, we've been talking about that walkway for a while. I don't know. But streets are just as important. I get it. Okay. So, so we'll just take this, uh, we'll just delay this. Yeah, postpone. And I'll get a letter. I'll say that we're meeting. before the next meeting that we want a, a letter with a deadline that when that project will be completed before this, this project's awarded. Yep. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Any items for future agenda? Okay. Move to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We're adjourned. Thank you.